Hey, it's Todd with Defense and Safety, and I have a new knife review. Uh, I have to say, this is a knife I'm really excited about. I've wanted it for a long time, and <clears throat> I just bought it, and I can't be happier with it. I'm really surprised at how much more I love this knife than I thought I would, which I knew I was going to love it a lot. So the knife that I am going to review today is the Benchmade 707 sequel. It's another uh, McHenry Williams design. It's in 154 cm and it's a 2.94 inch blade. Now I have the full black um, black blade. It does come in satin and uh, does come in satin finish and a uh, half serrated version. You can see it's got the Benchmade logo there. It's got the thumb studs. Now this is an aluminum handle with G10 inlays and it can be carried left or right handed um, tip up and of course it's got the axis lock so uh, the thing I wanted to point out about what's so great about this knife is very similar as you guys probably know my one of my all-time favorite knives is another uh, McHenry Williams design and that's the Benchmade 710 the thing that makes this knife so great, besides the fact that it's just a beautiful work of art in its design, is this, the form factor and size. You get almost a one-to-one -one ratio between the handle and the four-inch blade. So it's, it's a very thin design, it's a very compact design, meaning it feels like a smaller knife than it is. And this knife is even more so. Uh, again, you're looking at a 4-inch versus a 3-inch blade. So you can see when I stack the pivot pins on top of each other, let me just show you this. If you can see, get that to focus there. You can see, um, obviously the blade isn't extending as far, so if I extend the blade so that the back edges match, there you can see the difference. You can also see the handle here. Uh, it is, again, a very compact blade, and I think the easiest way to show this is to compare it to something like a Delica. So if you think of a Delica here, you can see on a Delica that the handle is longer, hopefully you can see that, the handle is longer than the blade. And when you look at this, and I stack, again, pivot pin to pivot pin, you got a virtually the same length of blade, but you can see on this blade you've got this right here, I guess it's a tang or something, so if you really move this forward to where the blades start, sorry this is juggling blade edges here, you're actually getting a longer blade by about maybe a quarter inch than over the Delica. It's also thinner, doesn't have the spidey hole, and best of all, look at the handle there. Look how much handle is sticking out the back end. And if I do these closed, you'll see, just from a form factor, it's just a much smaller, more compact knife. Now another one I'd like to compare it to, just to give you a sense, is another awesome blade, which is the Para 2. And again, if you line these up on the pivot hole, you, you see that... You can see it's pretty, about a half inch longer, but you've got this half choil right here. So if you move the blade all the way up to where the blades both start, it's virtually the same length of cutting edge. Maybe an eighth more on the pair of two. Barely. You can see right there, barely. It's amazing. And when you again line the pivots up and look at the handle, look at how much more handle there is. And again, if you line it up at the blade length, tip to tip almost, it's even more handle there. So even though this seems like a really small knife, it is amazingly space efficient. Uh, with that, it flicks out great, no blade play. It's a modified clip point. There's a slight swedge here. It's hard to see I guess you can see it right there a little bit. Let me get this to focus again. I'm using my iPhone, so I have to touch the camera. There, there you go. You can see that little bit of swedge there. 
but amazingly uh, space efficient. And to me, this thing carries so small and yet still offers plenty of blade. And it has become my new, or will become, my new kind of EDC knife. So when I'm carrying maybe an Emerson or a Spyderco Military, this will be a secondary blade that I'll carry for in my on my right side because I'm left-handed uh, for you know pulling it out to do simple EDC type tasks. So again, I'm just in in the handle construction. This aluminum, I didn't know if I was going to like it. I don't know what they do to this aluminum, but it's actually grippy. I mean, my thumb. hear it? it it feels grippier almost than the g10 inlay there which isn't the grippiest but it's so small that you you get a great purchase on it and i can get all four fingers on it and i have medium sized hands medium maybe medium large uh it's got you know that kind of inlaid kind of griptilian style type chimping there and a little bit underneath here um, but that's it it's got a, uh, looks like a G10 backspacer, and the liners are drilled. It looks to be about four holes, one, two, three, four, five holes on each side. Um, but again, I am just really happy with this knife. I just can't believe how little and effective it is. And of all the knives I own, I could sit here and flick this thing out a hundred times an hour, uh, you know, it, it's something about it, even more so than the Para 2, which is probably the, one of the better knives for just flicking and playing with. This thing is just addictive. I mean, I'm just constantly flicking it out, uh, flicking it out, flicking it in. Um, it's just that perfect size. I mean, it just gets lost in your hand. But again, like I said, the, the, the blade edge is almost identical to a pair of two. I mean, so you're giving up a an eighth of an inch, and you know, on a Delica, it's it's smaller, edge to edge. It's it's a smaller blade. So, uh, again, I, I'm really happy with this. I like 154 CM steel. I think it it holds a decent edge. I like it better than VG10, and uh, uh, again, it's just like the perfect companion to the 710 so they just look really great together um, you know this has the recurve and this plate I just don't think it would be appropriate it's a little too small to really be effective for a, a recurve but if you're looking for you know something that's legal in most states under three inches very compact design you know fast to deploy um, holds a great edge great construction very light. I really could not have more rec and, and now there's varying prices out there. I actually got this on eBay, $118 delivered, no shipping costs. So that's a great price because I've seen these as high as 140 So it's not a super cheap knife, but don't, you know, don't sit there and think, well, wow, it's a 2.95 inch blade. I'm not paying over $100 for that because you're getting so much in such a small package there's no other knife really that compares for the level of quality and construction and efficiency in uh, space and size. It's just, you know, maybe maybe a small Sebenza would be comparable, but again, you're going to pay significantly more. All right, well, I just uh, wanted to bang out this review uh, before I head out of town uh, for the weekend and first half of this week. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to get any videos done. I've just been kind of busy or lazy, both. So, again, thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you like my channel.